gets them. Here's a tantalising prospect in the government plan, back to normal by the end of June. But while some say, why can't we go faster? For others, speeding things up will be paid for in more people in hospital and more deaths. In a South London school today, the lesson from the Prime Minister was don't go too fast out of lockdown. He said his roadmap was the right speed to ensure we could get back to normal in June. Because science has given us this way of creating a, a whole a shield around uh, our population, uh, we can really look at that uh, June 21st date with some uh, optimism. I think that that's what, how I put it, that I've got, I'm very optimistic that we'll be able to get that. But the pressure is on from those who do want to go faster. For instance, pubs, restaurants, who at the moment can't expect to open to customers inside before the middle of May. Sadly, very many of our businesses will not make it through to the 17th of May. The government's roadmap document makes clear itself. It says clearly the longer these restrictions are in place, the more likely we are to have businesses facing insolvency and premises to close for good. But the official scientific advisers to the government say easing lockdown will mean more infections and going too fast could lead to tens of thousands of avoidable deaths. Those on the NHS front line say we still have some way to go yet. The numbers are going the right directions, but, but, but actually we are still overwhelmed. You know, having 18,000 patients in hospital with COVID is a really high number. The reason why I'm feeling a little impatient is because as doctors, we are so exhausted in having had to battle with, with f fighting this infection for now nearly a year. We, we really do want to see this properly turn the corners. Too fast, too slow, the argument will carry on, but there is now a plan. The next few weeks will show if the virus will stick to it. Andy's at Westminster now. Andy, it really is an unenviable position that the Prime Minister's in, isn't it? Yes, and it's not comfortable for a Prime Minister to be in a different place to where a lot of people on his own side are. All I would say is it could be a lot worse. I've been struck today calling around Conservative MPs how they are not piling in and attacking the Prime Minister's plan. I was just speaking to one who said, look, yes, I would like to go faster, but I accept what the Prime Minister has said, that this must be the last lockdown. And another one texted me to say, I'll take slow and steady over lurching back and forth. So I think the Prime Minister does have for now enough support, even if it's fairly sort of tacit support from his own side, to press on with his plan. That could change if the numbers in the pandemic start to look worse. But of course, if those numbers do get worse, the pressure won't be to move faster. It'll be slow down the exit.